The iPhone 5 and the Samsung Galaxy S4, two amazing smartphones at the top of their game. But which is more likely to survive an accidental trip down the toilet? That's what we want to find out. We've got two brand new phones here, fresh out the box. We're going to submerge them both in water simultaneously and see which one dies first. Once both screens have gone out, we're going to pull the phones out of the water. Here we go. So the iPhone 5 has gone out, but amazingly, the S4 is still going. There's a bit of flickering, but it seems to be repairing itself, and the screen hasn't gone out yet. It's been a long time. So a clear win for the Galaxy S4 there, it lasted way longer than the iPhone 5, even if the screen was going very funny towards the end there. But that is not the end of it, because we're going to give both these phones a second chance at life using CNET's guide on what to do if you've dropped your phone in water. Now if you're not familiar, then the basic premise is you need to get your phone out the water, towel it off as much as you can, if it has a removable battery then take that out, also take out micro SD cards, SIM cards, basically give the phone as much opportunity as possible to dry out. Then you need to put the phone in a container filled with uncooked rice. The idea is that the rice draws out any moisture that might be left in the phone. Welcome back. We've left these phones in rice for over four days to give them every chance of drying out. So, let's see if we've managed to save either of them. Rice in the headphone socket. Get that out. Alright, let's give it a go. No response from the iPhone. Oh, hello. The Galaxy S4 is alive. It didn't need its charger. It's coming back to life, I think. Is it going to work? It looks okay. So the S4 amazingly seems to be working. The screen seems responsive everywhere. If I fire up the camera, even that seems to be working as well. Uh, it seems completely fine. That's very impressive because this phone was underwater for over two minutes. Um, I know I couldn't be underwater that long, so I'm impressed. The iPhone, meanwhile, is not switching on, but we're going to plug it in just to see if that brings it back to life. We have life on the screen. We have the Apple logo. And it's recovered! That is amazing. I fire up the camera. Uh, that seems to be working fine as well. So, unbelievably, I'm genuinely amazed by this, but both phones have come back to life. That is shocking because they were underwater for over two minutes. However, the Galaxy S4 is in a much better condition than the iPhone. Although they both have working screens and the camera seem to work, um, there is quite a lot of damage underneath the screen if you tilt the iPhone towards the light. You can see it looks like not all of the water has been removed from underneath the screen. It also keeps turning itself off every few seconds with the screen going a bit weird and we're having a little bit of trouble making the SIM card work. Overall, I think it's fair to say the S4 definitely wins this dunk test. I'm amazed that either phone is alive, frankly, but nothing seems wrong with the S4. It appears to be working as if it hadn't been underwater at all. You can keep your phone away from the water as much as you like, but you probably can't keep it out of your pocket. And what else is in your pocket? Keys, 
change, and if you live near a beach, possibly even sand. So we've got keys, coins, and sandpaper. We're going to give the iPhone 5 and Galaxy S4 each 30 seconds of punishment using all of these tools and see which looks best at the end. Both phones managed the coin and key test taking basically no damage, but it was a different story when it came to the sandpaper, and now both of these phone screens are very scratched up. The moral of the story is, keys, coins may be okay, but if you've got even just a little bit of sand in your pocket or handbag, you could be taking some serious damage. It's hard to call a winner here because neither phone has really taken more damage than the other. They both managed pretty well though, I was being very aggressive with all three of these tools, and both of these phones are still very much usable. We've drowned them, we've clawed at their faces, but there's one test we're yet to perform. That is pretty bad. The screen's completely smashed underneath the glass. Uh, all of the colours have gone all horribly wrong. Uh, if I poke it a bit, I can see that the display is doing all kinds of weird things. There's no coming back from that. So there's a bit of damage around the edge of the phone here, but the screen seems kind of okay. Obviously the iPhone landed flat on its face, which was unfortunate, but I think the lighter frame and the plastic body of the S4 might have helped it survive that drop. Just to be sure, let's drop it a few more times. After a third drop, we finally managed to shatter the S4 screen. Uh, the lesson here is probably that both phones can be destroyed if you drop them, but that the S4 took a couple more times to be destroyed. I've removed most of the bits of screen from my hands and we're almost at the end of our durability test. I have to say the Galaxy S4 has fared better because it seemed more robust in the drop test and amazingly came back to life after being underwater for a very long time. Which of these phones is your favourite though? Let me know and I'll leave you with this one final test.